Let us consider a bar which is fixed at one end and a compressive force of 10 kN is applied to the other end. Now we consider a mid load that is at a distance of 500 mm and the total length of the bar is 1000 mm, that is 1 meter. Area of the bar is 10,000 mm square and E is nothing but x modulus to it. Now we are making a finite element model of the bar. So we are considering 3 nodes. We are connecting the nodes using elements. We are fixing the node 1 and applying the compressive load of 10,000 mm at 3. Now let us go to preferences. We will select the structure. Go to preprocessor. Select the element type. Add. Now we will select the link in that 2D spar1. Ok. Now we define the real constant. In this we add the area the area as 10,000 mm square ok now go to the material properties in that material model we are selecting the material as structural linear elastic isotropic enter the x modulus in x direction that is ex 200 gigapascal and poison's ratio in x y direction 0.3 now we have defined the material We are going to create the geometry. For this, we will select the nodes, apply the first node. The second node will be at a distance of 500 mm. Node 2 that is at a distance of 500 mm from the origin. Node 3 which is at a distance of 1000 mm. Then we need to create element between these two. So join 1 and 2 and 2 and 3. Now we are joining 1 and 2 plus 2 and 3. So the element which is having the properties which we define is created within this way. Now we are going to the solution, define loads, apply, we are applying structural in that displacement. We are applying displacement for node 1 that is which was fixed and we are restricting all degrees of freedom then we need to apply force on node 3 so click on node 3 apply fx that is x direction and minus 10,000 that is negative minus 10,000 compressive load click on ok The solution solve the current load step. It will solve the current problem with all the given boundary conditions and load condition. Now the solution is done. We now need to go to post processor to analyze all the results. First we need to define the table. So in that by sequence number ls load step stress ls1 ok now go to plot result control plot in that line element result ls1 that is ls1 is selected now we are getting line result line element result maximum stress and minimum stress will be mentioned Here we get the displacement vector sum, we get the deflection Now to get the detailed result that is element table we select the ls1 we will get the stress minus 1 minus 1 indicates that it is minus 1 mega pascal or 1 mega pascal of force but it is compressive in nature. Then we are getting nodal loads. The nodal solution will select the displacement vector sum. Here we will get the nodal solution. So at each 
to know what is the total displacement we will get here. animation will go to plot controls animate and we can see here deform shape with undeformed Here we can see the three dimensional view of the problem. We can see here the three dimensional deformation, and we can see here the deformation at node 2 is less compared to the deformation at node 3. We can close it. We can see the deformed result in three dimensional view that is public view or isometric view. We can increase speed of animation. We can have a forward or reverse motion or only forward motion. Thank you.